Over 8,100 responses later, the Overwatch 100 day poll has quite a few interesting results. While the beta gave us just a taste of the game, we've now had over 100 days to savor it and come to a better understanding of what we do and don't like in Overwatch. Before we get to the results, I'd like to note that Patch 1.3 was released towards the end of the polling period. I originally intended for this poll to reflect the game pre-1.3, and I feel that it will as about 90% of the total answers came before the patch, but you may see some results that the patch has offered some answers to already. So without further delay, let's start off with Favorite Offense Hero. Dramatically different results here compared to the post-beta poll. McCree has made a huge jump from 5th to 1st place, Genji has fallen to last place, Farah and Tracer both fell 3 positions, it, it's just completely different. McCree has been the subject of some debate over the course of the game and has seen some balance changes throughout, but he proves to be a solid choice and a counter to many other characters. Now let's look at favorite defense hero. Interesting to see that while offense changed so much, defense remained almost exactly the same, with only Torbjorn and Widowmaker swapping places into 4th and 5th respectively. Junkrat extended his lead here by a wide margin, earning over 43% of the votes, while May held strong onto 2nd place with about 20% of the votes. Favorite tank saw some pretty big shakeups as well. Zarya saw a huge jump from last place into second place, showing that the extra time with the character has helped players significantly. Diva moves up into first place, while Reinhardt and Roadhog both move down the list. Winston was crushed here, receiving only 7% of the vote. Again, this list isn't about competitive viability, it's just about who players enjoy playing as, and it seems that Winston just isn't an appealing character to many. Support is the only class we've seen a new character added to thus far, and Ana makes a strong showing, edging out Mercy for third place by just a single vote. Lucio holds on to first, but Zenyatta's popularity surge is clear here, with a very strong second place finish. Symmetra finishes again in last year, earning just 4.5% of the vote. In a reflection of the support poll, Symmetra is overwhelmingly believed to be in need of a buff. Mercy manages to sneak into 5th place here, although I believe her changes in the new patch will address that. Winston joins Symmetra as the only character to make this top 5 again from the post-beta poll. The Genji Rage continues into the poll for needing a nerf, taking 28% of the vote. No one else even had 10%. McCree is the only character to make the top 5 for nerfing twice, and while both Lucio and Roadhog make it to this list, I again think the recent patch addresses these two characters pretty well. Also, no Bastion in sight anymore. Level layout knowledge really is everything. Well, I say no Bastion in sight, but he makes it into 5th place for most hated hero. While well, Genji again takes first for the second poll in a row with another finish of 28% of the vote. May and Tracer finish in second and fourth place for the second consecutive time, while Hanzo finishes in third, which I think just speaks towards the frustration and disruption these three can cause. And finally, Most Loved Hero. Easily the most well contested poll of them all, Tracer moves down to second place. Genji makes a surprise appearance in third place, tied with Mercy, while Zenyatta surges into the top five. But your overall winner, and the only character to take more than 10% of the vote in this poll, is everyone's favorite esports girl, D.Va. Some good balance changes have made D.Va an absolute favorite and viable on almost any map. She's certainly one of my favorite characters to play as too, so I'm really happy to see her take this one. So that does it for this poll, I'd just like to thank everyone for their overwhelming support of the poll, especially the folks over at the Overwatch subreddit. Thank you all for watching, this has been Scan with GLHF TV.